All right, this one is going to be on tackling HTML rendering inside of MUT. And you can actually render this in the terminal using a command line web browser, or you can actually preview it inside uh, a GUI web browser like Firefox or whatever it is, right? Um, real easy here. So I'm giving you an example. Now, some of this you can get away with because you know you can actually read the text, but some of them you can't. Let me give you an example here. Let's say this first one here, this one is from Slick Deals, whatever. I hit uh, space here I can read it so this is the message or whatever it is they're sending us and in here this is our body right and I hit space I can read it I say okay this one is about a hard drive whatever it is it's on sale uh, so on and so forth this one's pretty easy to read right so we don't need to uh, you know deal with that one but let's say this other one with um, what's that IFTTT action here if I hit space, you can see that it's kind of hard to read. They give me this image, which I can't see, and as long as link, uh, it's all the matrix to me, right? So what you can do is click on that, and if you go on that message, so this one is the uh, Walmart PS4 or whatever. I hit V, and in here they give you a, a list of, I guess, files. So they have this one in plain text. This is the one we read earlier, so if you go inside it, this is the shit that we read earlier, right? We can't really see it really well. But let's quit out of that and go down to where it says uh, text and HTML here, slash HTML. Uh, you go inside it, you see now it renders it in HTML using our command line uh, web browser here, right? Uh, it outputs it, uh, well, it will look at the HTML and it will render it uh, in the command line using our web browser, right? And you can see that it looks cleaner than the first one that we saw. Um, and you know what it says and it says you know here's the link to this deal or whatever it is and so on and so forth right now if this one is not good enough for you you can actually uh, quit out of that and you can either hit uh, what's that you hit M right and this one will open it with your GUI web browser and this is what it will render like uh, so on and so forth so this is how it looks like if you don't want to look at you know their the command line render and you want to see in your um, GUI web browser, this is how it looks like. So I'll give you some other examples here. Let's quit out of that. Let's quit out of that. Let's go back to the first one here. If I go into it, I hit V here. I can see all the lists. Now if I want to render this, I hit uh, M. And you can see that this one renders it. And this is what it looks like uh, if you want to see with your GUI web browser. Because sometimes you need the GUI. Because some of these don't make sense in the command line. Uh, let's say, for example, this one. All right. Uh, this one's pretty easy to look. You can see that they give you the links and everything. So it's not that bad. But uh, if you ever needed to render your HTML uh, either in the command line like this, look at that. This one's pretty easy to see in the command line. Uh, or if you want to see it in the GUI web browser, this is how it looks like. And you can click on the link too if you want. And I'll take you to the link, so on and so forth. So that's what we're gonna do when I set that up. Really not that hard. Uh, what is the configurations for this? We're gonna go into. Well, you need to go two places. First of all, open up your MUT RC file. Okay, and this one should be in your home folder, uh, MUT RC here. But at the end here, I think I put it here. At the end here, you want to put uh, these two things. Actually, the first one really is all you need, but this is the order that we're going to do. So this one will tell us that uh, automatically render you know, HTML um, from the command line using your command line web browser. And this one is the alternative order. So we want plain text to be first, and then RTF or rich text uh, to be second, and then HTML to be the last. And an alternative, if you don't want to use M, you can always um, bind it to enter, or in this case, return it, and then that will view your mail, all right? Uh, also, I wrote this up if you, you forgot, but basically you hit V on the email that you want, and then you go down to uh, HTML, and then you hit M, and that will open up with your GUI uh, web browser, okay? That's it for that. So that's what you do in your MUT RC. And also, you gotta go into this other one, uh, which is called MailCap, and it's just in your home folder slash was that uh, dot slash 
Um, well, no, not dot slash. I mean, squiggly line slash dot mail cap here. All right. And in here, all you got to do is put these two codes in there. Now, I don't know how you want to do it, but uh, if you want to put it, you know, the exact web browser you're using, like Chromium uh, for the GUI and W3M for your what was that your command line web browser it's up to you you can replace this with Firefox uh, whatever you want this one is your command line you can use W3M or Elinks or what was that? I don't know links or whatever other web browser from the command line you can use that now if you already set those uh, variables up in your bash RC or ZSHRC however you exported it uh, you can use just your you know your variable for your browser so this is my variable for my GUI browser which is basically using chromium and this is my variable for my command line web browser which is basically using w3m so however you want to do it but this is the code if you want to do that and that's really all you need and you're good to go you can actually uh, you know read um, HTML stuff from the command line and sometimes you know on those um, rare occasions hopefully you can actually export it or basically preview it in a GUI web browser. Anyways, that's it for um, the MUT and HTML rendering. That's it for this one.